Hello, how are you doing? And it's time for another React. I'm Dean Wolf. I'm in uh, Canada. So, Sidecar Dog and Woody. Who is Sidecar Dog and Woody? That's one of my Patreon supporters. He says, Hope you're doing well, Dean. I'm doing okay. My July recommendation is the song World of Adventures from the Swedish band The Flower Kings. Ryan Stolt of Transatlantic is the main composer. So Flower Kings, I, I heard of them probably like a decade ago. You know, I mean, even though I was ignoring prog music, occasionally I did hear whispers of some bands, and I might have checked that one out. Uh, it didn't really sway me over, though. Um, I, th I thought they were kind of more retro-y. And anyways, I've reacted. Have I reacted to any yet? No, it looks like I haven't reacted. I've reacted to Transatlantic, though, and I really enjoyed Transatlantic. So my exposure to Flower Kings is minimal, 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 minimal. Nice intro. It's really interesting what's happening there.
backwards. Back in the world of adventures, in grand new adventures, expect to fly. Practical strangeness And I don't know why We run the field In the summer night In silent kisses In black and white And we'll make Footprints on a high ground For children Of a Woodstock nation Well, I, I'm pretty surprised. I wasn't expecting this. 
Uh, oh, my fan's kind of noisy. Let me turn it down. Hold on a second. Yeah, so I wasn't expecting this. This was uh, much better than as I, ex I was expecting. Maybe when I heard the Flower Kings, it must have been really early in their career. Maybe it was even in the 90s. I don't know. Whenever they started. But uh, I remember listening to them. And, I, and to, to me, they sounded very, very Genesis-y at that time. And um, Genesis is one of my favorite prog bands. But it just didn't interest me to, to follow a band who was basically um, sounding too much like Genesis and not enough like themselves but you know there's there is that issue when you're a new artist you start off uh, imitating your favorite artist that's just the way it goes and then you start developing I mean look, look, look at Rush Rush started off sounding like a like a Led Zeppelin copy band and I'm not even that crazy about their first album and uh, as time went on they started to sound more like themselves and that's just the way it is <laughs> so uh, it's not uh, I'm not offended or anything so it uh, obviously this band Flower Kings has really developed into its own um, its own into its own and I really enjoyed that song a lot there was a lot of so much going on on there the uh, the, the bass player he sounded I was I would almost say it sounded like Chris Squire was there it felt like Chris Squire had played bass in this song I heard a little bit of uh, Steve Howishness. There's this, uh, there were other sections in there that remind me a little of uh, Dream Theater as well, and you know, also the, to me it's like they're straddling. Like I, I would call this if tell me if I'm right or wrong. I don't know. To me, it's like neo prog. It's like the next generation of prog after the '70s. It sounds uh, maybe even after the 80s, you know, maybe even a little late 80s sounding, yes, kind of there, a bit, you know, Trevor Rabin-ish kind of, and uh, not very much Genesis, actually, considering I heard this strong Genesis influence in my impression of the Flyer Kings long, long ago, except for the Mellotron use. I like the keyboardist. Um, yeah, I really enjoy the keyboardist playing. There were some amazing chords in this song, I, and the singing was great. I really enjoyed the singing. I liked the acoustic work. Steel string acoustic, uh, of course, in Prague, I would say Supertramp and Pink Floyd are the big guys when it comes to playing a straight acoustic guitar in Prague, you know? Yeah, like I say, the singer, his voice was uh, really a pleasure to listen to. So it sounds like a G. No, no. Oh, the bass is playing. So he's playing B over uh, a G chord, so it's... So that's your first chord. So let's say this is what it is. And then... What's the next one? I love this. Oh, the... I wish I could just riff off the name of these chords. I, I'm self-taught, so I just, I, I just figured them out. That's what's next. And then it just sort of resolves to a G or F after. Nice. You see, I love that. That's 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 the thing that really turns my cranks when I hear amazing chord combinations. So they're not uh, flogging dead horse ideas here. They 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 got so many ideas. They're just putting them out there one after another. And uh, yeah, I, I guess that's a great way to describe. I think this this kind of songwriting. It's kind of like a collage. They got so many ideas. They're just sort of spilling them on the canvas and sharing them and it's really cool so that's uh that's my react thanks again to all of my supporters who uh support this channel and if you want to become a patreon the link's down below spiraling out talk to you later bye